up YouTube? Today we are going to start installing the 7 pin electrical outlet. To do that uh, we're going to have to connect wires to all of the lights that we installed uh, last week. Um, we have a lot of equipment to go over but first I want to take a moment just to describe the overall electrical system in the Airstream or really any trailer. So you have the seven pin electrical system and that is everything that's connected to the towing vehicle. So this guy is a seven pin connector. This goes to the towing vehicle. And then here's a junction box that I'll connect all of the different colored wires for the running lights, the backup lights, the tail lights, the brake lights, as well as the brake system that's connected to the axles as well. The other wire that's coming in here is a black wire, a power wire, that connects to the battery to charge that as the vehicle is driving. The second uh, electrical system is the 12 volt system. So. 7 pin is actually 12 volt, the second system is also 12 volt, but this is all the stuff that is powered by the battery itself. So I'm going to have that connected to all the LED can lights in, in each part of the Airstream, as well as the refrigerator um, and other stuff that can run on 12 volt. I'm kind of up in the air if I'm going to do th that with the hot water heater or have that just gas but um, some people do run it off of the 12 volt system as well. The third and the one that I'm most comfortable with is 110 which is what you find in every household in America. Um, this is going to run microwave if we have it, the air conditioner, the TV, uh, basically all the appliances essentially. So those are the three pieces, systems, that will make up the shell of the electricity system in the Airstream. So let's go over the equipment that we're going to need for the 7 pin connection system. So we have all the wire. I will list all the gauges um, for each of the seven different colors in the description below. Then you have some gaffer tape right here. Um, that is to tape any loose wires to the shell of the Airstream. I haven't done the insulation yet, but after I put the insulation on top of it, it'll just be really nice and solid to get everything uh, attached cleanly. Next you have just a normal drill, whatever drill you want to use is fine um, to connect things and unscrew things. Um, these guys are some clips, um, they they have some adhesive on the back and they just kind of ratchet so I can keep everything nice and tidy as I run the different wires different places. I went for the Wagner um, HT1000 heating gun. This is to secure all the wires in not only these guys which is basically the connector, connectors um, that will help secure all the wires into this junction box. Um, but also I went for heat shrink um, wire connectors. Uh, basically it's a, a little butt up terminal that are all different sizes and colors to keep everything coordinated. And that will also connect all the splices um, these I'm pretty excited about. These, I'll show you how to use them in a bit when I get them out of the packaging, but this allows you to strip the wires without having to twist and do a bunch of maneuvering um, that I've always done for electrical work. So pretty excited about those. And then the last thing, I got myself a Yeti bucket. Actually, my wife bought this for me a while ago and it is just so great to sit on and store all my tools in there. I'm starting to get a huge collection of tools that I'm just needing for Airstream remodel, and I'm just gonna keep those in that guy. Maybe a cold beer every once in a while too, but all right, let's get started. All right, so as you can see, 
here is the seven pin junction box. So you got white, it's the ground, black is power, yellow is auxiliary, red is left turn, green is the running lights, brown is right turn, and blue is brake power. So that will run to the actual brakes outside there. So what we're gonna do is, um, you can see that even in this, they're different gauges. We're gonna connect each one of these color to the terminals and make one of these little grommets um, for each one of them as well. We got these guys that are the shrink wrap um, connectors that will connect in to all of these connection points. This uh, blue wire is 12 gauge, so we're going to strip the end of it. Right there. And then we're going to slip this on the joint and then crimp it. That. And then we got the heat gun. Shrink wraps around the wire. So that is a new connection. So once you get that done, I'll show you the process on this one. Um, so there's a little like grommet here. We feed it through. Ratchet is the size, at least for mine. You'll have to check on yours, but I'll link to this cable below so you guys can know that it's a 5 16 Get that guy off and then feed that through. You can see right there. There's kind of like a little wire keeper right here that will tighten. I don't know if you can see that in the video, but We'll tighten that up. And then it's nice and connected and ready to run. So this one blue goes down to the brakes, but each one of them will go to different places that we talked about before. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that for all the colors and I'll be back. Okay, so here we have it. Um, everything's connected to the junction box. We have all the wires shrink wrapped and uh, all connected. So now it's time to start running all the wires throughout the Airstream. Um, so it's a good idea to have a plan, right? So you need to drop a plan or I'll link a, a great one that I'm following a diagram um, in the description below. But basically we need to run all of these to all of the lights around the Airstream. So let's get started. front and the back and it is really hot right now in the Airstream as you can tell by my just overheatedness um, 
So I'm gonna have to pick this up on another day to do the brake lights and backup, um, as well as the turning, which is the same as the brake. But let me do a quick show and tell of the, um, the green and the white, and then we'll wrap up for today. And you guys should join me next week to finish the process and test them out with connecting the truck. All right, so you can see the green and the white are connected to all of the running lights. And it's pretty much mirrored in the back the same way. Uh, the only difference is there's a light over the, um, over the license plate that has the same setup. Um, but yeah. Definitely a process, but once you get going, it's, it's pretty simple and straightforward. As always, thanks for watching and we'll see you next week.